So now since you said the Old Testament's corrupt, show me in the Quran where it says it's corrupt. Give me the ayah. We're going to have it right here. Um, I don't know the ayah of Baha, but there's an ayah that says that they twist and they change the the, the scripture oh, with God. their words and their tongues. With their tongue, exactly. So twisting the book with their tongues, that means they change the text because it says they did the same thing with your Quran. So can you show me where it says the Old Testament's corrupt? I'm waiting. I have the Quran up. I'll, I'll look for the words. And you're caught. By the way, you're referring to Surah Al Imran 78, Ayah 78 of Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, 78. So I even have to tell you where it is. That's not what it said, meaning the text is not corrupt. As you acknowledge, they twisted it with their tongues. That means they were misinterpreting what's in the text. Maybe Shah Google can help you. Okay, can you show me where it says? Because I'm going to show you where it says, Your prophet confirmed the scriptures of his day, what was in his possession at that time. It's in Quran and Hadith. And by the way, I hope you're not one of those Muslims who are going to also try to pull a fast one on me and say, Oh no, the Quran does not acknowledge the Old Testament, acknowledges the Torah given to Musa. I hope you're not one of them. Do you actually Sorry. claim well, what's that? The, what's the difference between the Torah and the Old Testament? There is no difference because the Torah in a more broader sense includes the entire Old Testament. But you are the ones that say, oh no, the Quran affirms the original Torah given to Musa. you believe that? I don't know what the argument means. The argument is that the Muslims tell me the Quran does not acknowledge Old Testament and only acknowledges the Torah given to Musa, not your Old Testament. That's what they say, but I don't know if that's your argument. Wait, wait that, that, that is kind of true because the Old Testament we have today is not the Torah we've got oh. to Musa. Well, so you're, you're agreeing with them, right? So you said no, 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 no. I'm not. Agree I'm saying I'm. Uh, I'm not agreeing. No, I'm making one argument. Here. I'm saying that the Torah that we have today is not the one given to Musa alayhi salam. Yeah. So you're agreeing with them that it was given to Musa. Now I'm going to give you five million dollars, and Protestant believers going to take shahada. Show me in the Quran where it says the Torah was given to Musa. The Torah, not Kitab. I'm not asking you. Show me the ayah where it says, and we gave Musa the Kitab. Yeah, we gave Musa, we gave Musa the Kitab, and it says Furqan as well, and it says... Where does it call it Torah? You're not listening. See, this is what happens when you kiss the black stone, recite Quran, you don't listen. Show me in the Quran okay, where I'm it says... Allah, the but Torah. I'm sure that it says in the Quran that... No, it doesn't. Revealed, You're lying. We revealed the book to Moses. Okay. You know, Buddy, um, I'm going to send you out of here. Let me repeat my question. Repeat my question, because you're not listening, because you're too busy thinking of the black stone to smooch it and the Quran in yours. What was my argument? Repeat my question. Your question is, uh, find me where it says that the Torah was revealed to Moses. Yeah, the exact words, not kitab. Uh, you know right, I'll show you that. Give, give me a second, I'll show you. Yeah, we're going to wait until Jesus comes and resurrects your prophet to pass judgment on him because it's not in the Quran. There's not a single verse in the Quran that says the Torah was given to Musa. Yeah, use Sheikh Google. Let's wait for him to give Sheikh Google. So go to Surah Atla. Verse, you don't want to embarrass you, right? Because it's 19. not there. Surah 87, verse 19. Okay, now, show me where it says the Torah. You see why you are an ummi like your prophet? It doesn't say the Torah was given to Moses. Did you hear my challenge? Ya ummi? Yeah, but if you look in the context, he's talk, uh, talking about No, the it's not talking to context because it's talking about the suhoof. So you know how you don't like the argument. People say, oh, show me in the Bible where it says that Jesus is, is, is God. No, that's a false analogy. You know why I said I that? So because according to the Sunnah, the word Torah was used by the Salaf for all the scriptures of the two people of the book. Do you see why you're not qualified to talk about the deen? Because according to the Salaf, according to the Sunnah, the Torah was used for all the scriptures, not just the books of Moses. Ya Ummi. Let me show it to you. Al-Bukhari recorded it from Abdullah bin Amr. It was also recorded by Al-Bukhari. To the word for ghosts. And he mentioned narration of Abdullah bin Amr. Then he said, it was common in the speech of our Salaf that they described the books of the people of two scriptures as the Torah, as some hadiths con concur. So, Ya Ummi, why did you lie to me again? So, he, the, he's saying the hadith says that the books of the people of the script, two scriptures were known as the Torah. Uh, did you read it? Or I read it or did it's in front of your eyes? So, here's another one. Al Sira al Nabawiyah, volume one, page 237. And it should be recognized that many of our forebears used to apply the word Torah to the books of the people's scriptures. Where does it say only the books of Moses? These are, in their view, more comprehensive than those God revealed to Moses. So are you ignorant of your deen or are you lying to me? It's one of the two. No, I'm 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 confused. I don't I don't know. Okay. So stop telling me what you think you know, you don't know. Your scholars, your ahadith. 
say the Torah was used for more than the books of Moses, used for all their scriptures. Here it is, El Sira and Nebawiya, volume one, page 237. And it should be recognized that many of our forebears used to apply the word Torah to the books of the peoples of the scriptures. These are, in their view, more comprehensive than those God revealed to Moses. So that actually proves that the Torah of the Quran is referring to the Old Testament. That's why you have Muslim translators translating the word Torah as Old Testament. T.B. Irving, chapter 5, verse 46, when it says Jesus confirmed the Torah. We had Jesus, the son of Mary, follow in their footsteps in order to confirm what he what had come before him from the Torah, and we gave him the gospel, which contains God and light, to confirm what he already had in the Old Testament. In the Arabic, it's Torah. But he called it the Old Testament, and he's a convert to Islam. Here he is again. Surat al-Tawbah, Ayah 111. God has bought up their persons and their property from believers, so they may have the garden instead. They fight for God's sake. They kill and are killed as a rightful promise for him, found in the Old Testament. But the Arabic is Torah. But he called it Old Testament. Okay, here again, Irving, Surah Al-Saf, Ayah 6, 61.6. Speaking of Isa, confirming Torah. So Jesus, son of Mary, said, Children of Israel, I am God's messenger to you, confirming whatever came before me in the Testament. Hmm. But the Arabic is Torah. And here, Surah 62.5, talking about the Jews who have the Torah but don't know its value. Those who are laden with the Old Testament. Okay, but that's TB of Ring. Let's put him aside. What about Muhammad Ahmed Samira? Another translation done by Muslims. He descended on you the book with the truth, confirming what is between his hands. And he descended the Torah and the New Testament Bible. They called the Injil New Testament Bible. But maybe you don't like that. Okay, let's go here. Here they are again. This is Ahmed Samira. What did they translate Torah as? Torah. And how do they ask you to judge, rule at them? Is the Torah Old Testament? Then we descended the Torah Old Testament. Hmm. And Jesus confirms what is between his hands from the Torah Old Testament. And we gave him the New Testament. Chapter 5, verse 43 to 47 here. You don't believe me? Wow. But my friend here told me, no, 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 no. The Torah given to Musa, alayhi salam. It's not the Old Testament. No, no, no. Okay. Here we go. Oh, here it is. Torah Old Testament. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Okay, how about here? And Jesus confirms the Torah Old Testament. And we gave him the New Testament. A stock for Allah. What happened here? This guy, my friend, was telling me, no, no, Torah is not Old Testament. Okay, so here these again. are just translations. And yet I just gave you that they're getting it from your Salaf who said that the Torah is used for the books of the two people of scriptures. Hmm. So let's ignore what we just read. No, no, I, I probably concur with you. Yeah, the Torah is probably the Old Testament. Yeah. Okay, so can we stop? If you don't know, it's okay. But you're coming. No, no, man. Old Testament corrupt. No, no. Does it? This is why I'm getting. No, but, but but Old Testament is still is still uh, corrupt. So Jesus confirmed the corrupt Old Testament, huh? Is that what you're telling me? Because I guess you didn't pay attention to the. Like, no, oh, man, here. All right, let me show you again one more time the ayah. You didn't pay attention to it. Okay, one more time. And I'm going to show you that even it says your prophet did the same here. This is Surat Al-Maidah 546. Let me go to the site itself. And we sent after on their tracks with Jesus, son, Mary's son, confirming what is between his hands from the Torah Old Testament. Musaddiqan lima baina yadehi. And they give you a little translation. They actually translate literally. It means between his hands. Yeah, so it says between his hands. Uh, the Torah isn't in the oh Arabic, right? Goodness. Oh my goodness. This Wait, but, but, is, but is the Torah in the Arabic? I'm just asking. Yes, it says Torah in the Arabic. Torah, musaddiqan lima baina yaday min el Torah. Do me a favor, buddy. Don't play games with me. Here, between his hands is an expression meaning whatever scripture was there that he could pick up and read, that's what he confirmed. And the word musaddiqan is like when you say Abu Bakr as Siddiq. Sadiq, Sadaqa. It means to confirm as reliable and true, to bear witness to something being reliable and true. He and didn't say it's corrupted. So you just said Jesus confirmed the corrupt Torah. No, no. From this ayah, it seems that Jesus confirmed 
you know, a, a the, the Torah at that time. But now you so, got problems because we have copies yeah. of the Torah from Jesus' time, the Dead Sea Scrolls, and it's what we have today. 